My name is Lukas Jurasek. Uh, I come from Poland. I live in America. I have a long history with cycling, to be honest. It started when I was young, around 13 years old. And I have, mo I have periods in my career where I trained for, for years consistently and I had many, many years of zero cycling. So this time around, I decided to put a big carrot right in front of me that I could use as a motivation for hard training and, and have this high goal of striving for. So I do tend to train between 12 to 18 hours a week these days. I'm very fortunate to be able to do that, uh, especially the last couple of months, uh, having the focus of a training camp in mind, uh, I was able to consistently push myself, motivate myself out of a genuine desire to come here and perform well. So I did train for about six months consistently. I've lost a ton of weight, roughly 18 kilograms, to be able to come out here and enjoy cycling. <laughs> I, I know how you feel, I had the same thing. It was hot, huh? <laughs> Horribly. At one stage I just couldn't turn the pedals, I just didn't have enough energy to... And then you're in your lowest gear already. Oh, and... is it the lowest? Right, yeah, the, right I at the beginning. Say. Cycling is a sport where you cannot control everything. Oftentimes, uh, you may prepare the best to your abilities, yet uh, on any given day, you may not feel up to your best. And I did have that experience indeed on, on the second day of the camp. Uh, I came from the US and not only I was jet lagged, I was feeling a little bit congested, didn't sleep well, and I didn't perform up to my expectations. I didn't have the best of time. I was sort of down on myself, to be honest. I came with high expectations, put a lot of time into preparing for, for the camp so that I could enjoy it to the fullest. And it was a moment of, of, of reflection of, if I cannot perform as I would expect, what can I get out of it? And how am I going to deal with this? So on, on the second day, we were dealing not only with some challenging climbs, but also the environmental conditions, high heat and not being able to deal with that particularly well, losing a ton of, of salts and, and liquids in my body, dropping weight very rapidly. And yeah, I hit a wall on that day where I couldn't just simply continue because that would be negative to the rest of the week. And I just didn't want to bury myself completely. I wanted to leave myself a chance of recovery and, and striking hard again on the following days. Tomorrow is a big day. Uh, we are climbing Sakalobra, the legendary climb. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm also anxious. We've had a tough week. Plenty of beautiful experiences, challenging experiences, moments of ups and downs. Uh, I think that tomorrow is going to be an excellent chance to challenge myself once again and see how well I can perform. Uh, it's going to be sort of a dream come true for me because Sakalobra is a very famous climb and almost every cyclist that I know either has heard of it or would like to challenge themselves on that climb. So I have big ambitions for tomorrow and I'm excited for the race.